A cylindrical tank with its axis vertical is 2.7 meters high and 1.2 meters in diameter. It is held together by two steel hoops, one at the top and the other at the bottom. Three liquids, A, B, and C, having specific gravities of 1, 2, and 3, respectively, fill this tank, each having a depth of 0.9 meters. On the surface of A, there is atmospheric pressure, so zero gauge pressure. Find the tensile stress in its hoop. So this is the figure. I lengthen the height so that it's clear the pressure diagram later. So 0.9 meter each layer, different liquids, 1, 2, 3 specific gravities, diameter 1.2 meters. So this is the free body diagram of the hoops and the pressure diagram. So that's F1, two thirds of 0.9 is 0.6 from the top. So it's distance from the bottom 2.1 meter. F2 is this rectangular pressure diagram. So it exactly at the level of this interface between B and C. So 0.9 from the bottom, 1.8 from the top. So there's no need to place it. F3 is two thirds of 0.9 is 0 0.6 plus 0.9, so 1.5 from the top, 1.2 meters from the bottom, 2.7 minus 1.5, of course. F4 is half of 0 0.9, so 0 0.45 from the bottom, 2.25 meter from the top. Then F5, one third of 0 0.9, 0 0.3 from the bottom, 2.4 meters from the top. So F4, again, is 0 0.45 from the bottom, 2.25 meters from the top. So I'll call this P1, intensity of pressure P1, this one as P2. And we have here P3. So there are five forces and three different pressure intensities that shall be computed. So P1 is 1.0, 9.81 times 0.9. Or 9.81 times 0.9, 8.829 kilopascals. P2 is 2 times 9.81 times 0.9. And that is equal to 17.658 kilopascals, while P sub 3 is beginning here 0, so 3 times 9.81 times 0.9. And it is equal to 26.487 kilopascals. So F1 is 1 half or 0.5 of P1, 8.829 times height 0.9 perpendicular to the board 1.2. So F1 is equal to 4.768 kilonewtons. F2 is P1 times height 1.8 times perpendicular to the board 1.2. So 8.829 P1 times height 1.8 times 1.2. So it is equal to 19.071 kilonewtons. F3, 1 half or 0.5 of B. P sub 2, 1 half or 0.5 of 17.658 times height 0.9 times 1.2 perpendicular to the board or screen. 9.535 kilonewtons. F4, P2 times 0.9 times 1.2. So it is equal to 17.658 times 0.9 area then perpendicular to the screen 1.2. So it is equal to 19.071 kilonewtons. And finally, F5 is 1 half or 0.5 of P3, 26.487 times height 0.9 times 1.2 perpendicular to the screen. So F5 is equal to 14.303 kilonewtons. So finally, we sum up moments about the bottom hoop equals 0. So 2 times tension in the upper hoop times 2.7 equals F1. 4.768 times 2.1 plus F2, 19.071 times 0.9 
class F3, this one, uh, 9.535 times distance from the bottom, 1.2, or 2.7 minus 1.5, 1.2. Then F4, plus 19.071 times distance from bottom is 0.45. Then plus F5, 14.303 14 times 0.3. So computing for tension in the upper hoop, it is equal to 9.535 kilonewtons. Then summation of moments about the upper hoop equals 0. 2 times tension in the bottom hoop times 2.7 is equal to F1. 4.768 times 0.6 plus F2 19.071 times 1.8.9 plus 0.9 then plus F3 this one 9.535 times 1.5 plus F4 19.071 times 2.25, not shown here, 2.7 minus 0.45, so 2.25, plus F5, 14.303 uh, times 2.4. So computing using your calculator, tension in the bottom hoop is equal to 23.84 kilonewtons. So that's it, and this is the last example.